We are back with The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. Not Horse Ranch. <laughs> What's the new pack called? Oh my God, I forgot. Oh, full rent, that's it. Last episode, we decorated Corgetti Clarence's house. Today, I think we need to decorate Perfect Boyfriend's house. Oh, his rent is still at $4 trillion. Corgetti's is cheaper. So is Shanice's. But for some reason... Oh wait, Shanice's is nothing. It's a zero bedroom, zero bathroom apartment. And it costs us nothing, apparently. <laughs> Perfect Boyfriend's is $4 trillion. Don't mean to be political, but like if we were to put the British social class system in like units, it would be like this. So Perfect Boyfriend's got a whole 20 grand. You are very angry, aren't you? Probably because we've been making him live in this horrendous, like literally, like there's no furnishings, nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> so we've got to sort it out. So call me absolutely mental, but we're using the British country kitchen, kitchen counters in this house. Why are we using a British country kitchen set? I don't know. No, guy, why am I using a British country kitchen set in bloody Thailand. That's not how it's supposed to go. We'll use the new pack. Although, with that being said, guys, this room is really small. We haven't got anywhere to sit down and eat. So he's gonna have to sit and eat on the sofa, I'm afraid. I know this sounds like a really, really dumb thing to say, but we don't have like any masculine sofas. I really hope you know what I'm talking about when I say we don't have a masculine sofa. I know that's a little bit odd. You know, I don't know, guys. Is The Sims 4 a build? simulator? Is it just a build simulator now? Is it like officially a build simulator or are we not quite there yet? I feel like, oh my god, guys, I've wasted all of our money already. Oh my god. I did not think this through. I did not think the bedroom size through either. Oopsie daisy. We won't have enough room for the bed to go in like long ways. I feel like Sims can scoot over anyway. As far as I'm aware, they can. So if he does bring any girls back or boys, then it's not going to be an issue. What is an issue is how high up this mirror is. Why is that so high up on the wall? Jesus Christ. I mean, this one's low, but why, like, why is this so high? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Come on now. I'm kind of happy for Perfect Boyfriend Space to be a little bit more crowded. I feel like he's the kind of guy that, like, doesn't really care that much about the way everything looks as per se. Also, I feel like we can't spend all of his money. He's only got just under 4,000 simoleons left. We can fit in, okay, like, a fitness machine in his back garden. I think that's cute. There we go. I'll give him a punching bag as well. There we go. I think that's fine. He's got enough stuff to do. He doesn't need too much. He doesn't deserve it. We also need to give him a job because he does not have a job yet and he kind of needs one. My, he's not the perfect boyfriend if he's not financially stable. I want to make him an actor because that's a live career, isn't it? That'd be fun. There we go. He can aspire to be a world famous celebrity. Sir, are you happy with your new home? You look so happy. Yes, you do. You are very much welcome. Now, of course, back to Shanice. We still haven't finished our aspiration. Shan's house finished all of hers, but Shanice Shanice needs to finish hers to be a five-star property owner. Though it's a bit difficult to know like how we up the rating because the rating system is a bit dumb and it just goes up by itself from my experience anyway. I guess we just have to wait. Although I'm not sure why Chantal Chantal is all the way over here, madam. Why are you over at this property? Do you know what Chantal hasn't done in a while? Much breaking and entering. She is the evil sister. I feel like we've broken into like every single property in here. I just feel like it'd be fun. Also, guys, there is a potion, okay, that can change your Sims traits because this is how we're going to do it. A retrain potion. Oh my god, we don't have enough points. Quick, Chantal how we need more points. See, if we had 5,000 points, we can get a retraining potion. What that would mean is we'd actually be able to change our traits and get the kleptomaniac trait. And when you do that, you can actually steal things from people's houses, which is really funny. There's no chance. Okay, for now, we just change it to a default trait. Be a mean sim. That sounds like fun. We're going to start breaking anyway on Judith Ward and then gradually build up our aspiration points so we can actually make money by stealing people's stuff, which will be really fun. Also, because she has the Tiger Inspector badge now. I mean, breaking and entering is broken. Even if the homeowner comes home, they literally don't care. But what we can actually do is if the game doesn't break and they come home and they catch us, because we have the brand new, where is it, Tiger Inspection badge, we basically have an excuse for breaking and entering, which I thought was good. Though, gosh, don't you hate Judith Ward's house? It's so ugly. Although she's not finding any secrets, really, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. She's found she's got a gummy tummy. Isn't that lovely? I'm not reading it because it's bollocks. Oh, by the way, guys, I need to say at the start of every Let's Play, I don't recommend buying full rent because I think it's completely broken my 
spreading stories level bad. So that's the disclaimer. Anyway, we've got to be mean 10 times. So Courgette and Clarence, I'm so sorry, but you're getting it. Yes, you are. But we can be mischievous. I feel like being mischievous is not as bad as being mean. Although, no, we're going to be mean anyway. <laughs> Although I feel like when you do mischievous actions, they don't always cause a relationship fail. They can cause a relationship gain, whereas mean always does a relationship fail. Because right now she's got like rancher traits, which is just from the horse ranch let's play. She needs to be retraited. Bloody harvest the plants, these boring ones. That's what it is. So uh, where's Shanice? Okay, we're just going to be mean to Shanice because that will be easier. Okay, there we go. We've got some points. She wants to join the criminal career as a part of this. I mean, Chantal, why not? Congratulations, you are now a criminal. Oh, we can afford the retraiting potion now. So that'll be good. Oh, we we'll keep the evil trait. I kind of want to give her the nosy one, which is the new one from the pack. Although guys, I can't find the kleptomaniac trait anywhere. Am I being totally dumb? I literally can't find, they didn't remove it, did it? Did they? Please don't tell me they removed it. For... Oh, there we go, we've got it. I was gonna say, I'm really glad they didn't remove it. Okay, so now we've got the klepto trait. Yes, we... oh, there's an insect infestation. Where are the insects? I can see dirty nappies. These are not insects. Oh, there they are. Right, we're, de... uh, actually, we get the landlords to it. This is the landlord's problem, not our problem. I'm so sure there was an option in the phone before to ask the landlord to deal with it. We can call the property owner to visit. Before there used to be an actual option where we could call the landlord to deal with the problem. I'm gonna call him to visit and see if we can get him to deal with it because this is supposed to be the landlord's problem to deal with. Is he gonna deal with it, sir? Can we ask him to deal with it? Is he gonna, there we go, he's gonna deal with it. Oh no, he's going upstairs. Oh my God, the bugs are upstairs too. Ooh, they're bloody everywhere. Oh, he's done it now. Thank you, sir. Shanice wants to make out with Patchy. Oh my God, guys, you remember Patchy? The scarecrow from the horse ranch let's play. I wonder where he is. We kicked him out and I don't know where he lives anymore. <laughs> oh, and Clement Frost, he just messaged us. He's our other sugar daddy. We have quite a lot of them. Should we call Patchy over? Oh, we can plan a stay over. Just for just for the night, Patchy. Come on over. Come meet my child. Oh, hello, so he's got his little suitcase. Isn't that really, really cute? Haven't seen you in ages. Should we woohoo in the shower? Oh my god, why does he look so dirty? He just randomly got dirty. So why did you get so dirty? Well, we better woohoo in the shower. Jesus Christ. If you're that dirty. Or should we, oh my god, we can woohoo in the hot tub. Oh, I love how Patchy's doing the cleaning up for me. Aren't you such a sweetheart? Although, uh, the landlord's in here. Sir, you should not be in here. Go home, please. You're ruining the vibe. Get out, please. Where did Pat, can Patchy go in the hot tub even? I don't actually know if he can go in the hot tub because he's like Patchy. Do you know what I mean? Is he allowed to come in? Yes, he can. Sir, I would like to woohoo with you in the hot tub. She's feeling horny. <laughs> so she's doing it with a scarecrow. Yes, she is. The only annoying thing is now we did a stay over like he has to stay, like we can't get rid of him. Anyways, you, me and Chantal Chantel have some stealing to do. Guys, should we go in Copperdale? I never ever come in the high school years world. Like I, I honestly, I haven't really explored it very much. Should we go into a random house here? Genuinely, like I just don't come in this world because I like to steal some things from people's houses now. I feel like we also need to get her a criminal outfit at some point. Can we, like, what can we steal? What will the game let me steal? Because she has a klepto. Can we take the TV, for example? We can't even, we can't take, what can you take with the klepto trait? I don't understand. I've, I don't really play the klepto trait much. Like, what can we, what can we get away with stealing? Do you know what I mean? See, I feel like they should have paired this snooping thing with some kind of, you know, like criminal career where you have to like break into someone's home or like hack in their PC or, or like some kind of pranking career. Korea. Do you know what I mean? Like where well, you got to prank their toilets and something like that. Do you know what I mean? And then if you prank their toilet, like it'll cause something to happen. I just feel like they should have done it that way, but whatever. And we can't, guys, you guys need to let me know how this klepto trait. Oh, we can do it on this light. Attempt to swipe the light. Why can't we swipe? I feel like we need to be able to swipe everything, not just random things. Or is it just, I wonder if it raises up with the mischief skill. I mean, apparently like it's really unintuitive in terms of what you can swipe. So it's just like total pot luck in terms of like what kind of things you can take so I'm not quite sure like how it's actually gonna work like we could snoop that lampshade but not another lampshade I just don't understand it oh no apparently it is determined by the mischief skill you have to get to level five to eight so we have to raise that a little bit higher also why doesn't snooping raise the mischief skill
video. Oh my god, we've been caught. But can't we show our tiger inspection badge and it's alright? Yeah, she's, oh my god, she's actually showing it. So it's actually not that bad. That's good. And we can spy on Ash. Oh my god, she's still snooping with the lady there. <laughs> oh, what's happened? Garden blight. Some sort of sickly blight has started to sneak into the pots. At two screaming gecko. I've never seen that before. Should we go home? Oh, I've just realised it's snowing, guys. I love the snow so much. I know this is like really embarrassing and lame, but like I genuinely cry when I see the snow, even if it's just in a video game. Honestly, I was playing Hogwarts Legacy the other day and I'm in winter in the game and like it just makes me feel so emotional. I really do love the snow so much. Although something tells me it's not going to snow in Tomerang. Anyway, this is at number two. Which one is number two? Oh my god, it's the boulder again. Why is it always the boulder? I think he just wants an excuse for Shanice Shanice to come round. That's a brutally honest truth, isn't it? He just wants Shanice coming in. And sir, it's 3 a.m. Why are you outside playing chess? So apparently there's something up with his plant pots. Where the, is it these ones out here? There we go. Deploy light spray. Uh, oh, was that it? That was too easy. That was way too easy. Jesus Christ, that wasn't fun enough. You distracted me and Chantal from doing mischief things. Yes, you did. We got a notification saying Shanice is expected at work for the next shift after her family leave. I didn't even know she had a... Wait, what? She's a paranormal investigator. Oh, we did this before in the horse ranch let's play. I just forgot that she had a job. Oopsie daisy. Anyway, I kind of like to perform some mischief things on Shanice. Or should we do it on Patchy so that we don't lower our relationship with Shanice? Because we literally have to live together. I mean, she's already mischief level three. I'm pretty sure we can also like troll some forums on the computer and then that will raise it up. There we go. Troll the forums. This is what all the uh, haters love to do to me. <laughs> The terminally online incels. The ones that always call me a, a far-right conservative. <laughs> Oh my god, Patchy, you're just cleaning up my mould. Patchy, I wanted um, Chantal to eventually die of mould spores and you're cleaning up. That wasn't very good of you. That was a little bit rude of you, sir. Though Patchy seems to be sitting up all night whilst we're all asleep. I'm not sure what's happening there. Shanice has to get up though because of her annoying crying baby. The one that we're neglecting a little bit. Oh my god, sh guys, Chantal's got work in an hour. I forgot she had a job. We shouldn't have given her a job. Now she has to go to work every day. Now guys, I really, really want to up our unit ratings. So, the boulder is level four already. What I'm thinking is, if we go and edit his lot and we add some nice decorations in, maybe that will help to up the unit rating a little bit if we just make it look a bit prettier. Do you know what I mean? If we get rid of all of the moldy bits on the wall, and we try and make it look really pretty for him. I mean, it's already decorated very nicely. What if we just use like some more expensive amenities? Because he has literally so much money, Jesus Christ. I reckon, yeah, I reckon if we do stuff with high environment ratings. Oh my god, he's got mold spores. That's not very good. I mean, this, guys, this thing is environment six, which is bloody low. So we chuck one of these in here. It's a bit of a hack, but we're doing it anyway. Also, maybe if we give him some more like nice activity objects, maybe that will do something. We're just gonna have to do a bit of reshuffling. Oh no, look at the staircase clipping through the wall. Is this glitch back? I thought we got rid of this glitch. How's it come back? That literally looks horrendous, Jesus Christ. So I'm just checking this in the corner. I know it's not really functional, but there's not really much room in here to put loads of stuff in. I have a feeling, okay, if we just chuck like some random stuff in like this, the game will maybe technically recognize it as functional, even though we can't actually use it. If we just put, you know, light switches in, that's a level one environment rating. Do you know what I mean? If we just try and get it where we can, even if something just provides a really tiny bit of environment rating, a little bit's better than nothing. So to say I've chucked some really random stuff in here. <laughs> That's a little bit of an understatement. It's very, very random. I'm just feeling, guys, like the more the more stuff, okay, we chuck in here, the higher the environment rating will go and the better it's going to look. Well, the worse it's going to look, but the better our environment score is going to be. I don't, okay, putting like a bar thing here, that's a little bit extreme. So you're having a coat of arms, there you go. Like we've done so much to up his environment rating. We put a couple more activities in, more expensive stuff. Hopefully that will sort it out. I'm not too sure. Even though technically he is the one paying for it because it's coming out of his like budget. So again, like it's so weird the way this whole system works. I don't quite understand it. We're just gonna have to roll with it. I mean, his environment's fancy now, which is good. Amenities are desirable, but not perfect. So maybe, okay, we've got to go back and give him some more amenities. The only one we can't really change is size because he's saying it's small, but like you can have, you know, 
a small one can be perfect. Just saying, it's not size that counts. It's what you do with it. Maybe if we give him a better bed. Right now his bed is energy four and it's uncomfortable. So this one is energy nine and it has stress relief and discomfort relief. So maybe this will do something good for him. I don't know. Apparently we also need some more appliances. I'm not gonna risk it with cross pack appliances because I feel like they're not gonna count. Maybe if we put like a, a like a heater in, do you know what I mean? Like if we put in a little radiator, maybe that will be good. Maybe the game will like it. I don't quite know. He's got a little bath. What if we give him a proper bath shower combo? Again, like just something a little bit more expensive and then maybe that will just help to up the rating again. Also, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to have a microwave actually. Okay. If we give him a nice little microwave, there we go. He's got a lot of clutter now and crap in his kitchen. So maybe, okay, sir, would you like a coffee machine? He's got nowhere to actually cook though because we're putting all this stuff. Okay, we need to stop. What if we buy a more expensive oven? I wonder if that will do anything. See, although we're like literally spending all of his own money and I feel really bad. I feel like it, like it was implemented a little bit weirdly. Do you know what I mean with this pack? Like to up your rating, the tenant themselves has to purchase better furniture. Like I just don't understand it. So amenities are still desirable, but they're not good enough. I want to make it better. Like what if we give him like skill and hobby related things? We're going to off, we're going to have to delete some of the furnishings out because we bought too much. Hopefully it'll still remain at level fancy because he's still got a lot of stuff. Again, I'm only going to go base game with the activities. I do not trust this game to consider cross pack stuff. So we're chuck the guitar in. You've got a camera inmate. Do you want a fish bowl? Now you've got a fish bowl. You're welcome. Do you, would you like a cork board? <laughs> a cork board of all things? There you go. I mean, imagine if your landlord gave you a punch bag, a guitar, a whole bloody camera, a football, a fish tank. I mean, he's got so much good stuff. Yes, he does. If that's not done it, guys, we're going to give up on him and we're going to work on somebody else so we can up our rating. I mean, the amenities are still only desirable. Okay, I think there's an issue. What about maybe the Tartosa one? This one's large luxury, although maintenance is poor and environment is lacking. So maybe if we work on the Tartosa one, okay, because it says environment is lacking and it's already four stars. So if we make the environment better, surely that will just raise it up to five stars. Do you know what I mean? Although I'm not quite sure like how to deal with maintenance unless we just turn up at the door. I feel like if we turn up at the door, we can just do like maintenance activities like checking on the bathtub or whatever and then that will raise it up. So they literally live in the most beautiful location in the world. Like imagine living here secluded. It would be literally lovely, but apparently the environment isn't good enough. I mean, look at it guys. <laughs> the environment is perfect. I don't know what they're chatting on. I feel like also the game doesn't count objects outside of the unit space, which I feel like doesn't make much sense. But there we go. That's how they decided to do it. For some reason, guys, we've got unlimited money. We didn't have unlimited money before. Now we've got it. See, it's so dumb. Like we can just put things in with unlimited money. Like I could just put this 8,000 simoleon painting in and get loads of environment. Like it's just so dumb. I don't like the way the pack was implemented. I am being brutally honest with you. But with all this stuff, guys, it really is going to raise up the environment rating and the game's letting me do it. So it's ca canon feature, literally is canon. So I do not care. So we've put quite a lot of different decorations in now. So I'm really hoping like with all this stuff in here, it should be enough. If it's not enough, I might go a little bit crazy. So let's pray that it is. Okay, there we go. So the environment is fancy. Everything is great. It's just maintenance is poor. So I think Shanice, if we take a flight to Tartosa, what I believe we can do is we can visit the property firstly, and then we can knock on the door. And then we can like, can we click on certain objects like the oven and do an inspection? There we go, do inspection and maintenance. So, um, oh, the last time we came here, guys, we were told that this was a two infant household, but we only got to see one infant. I can see one infant here. Is there another infant or are they still gone? Yeah, the game glitched. The household was supposed to move in with two infants and only one moved in with them. It glitched. So <laughs> there we go. So here Shanice is doing some kind of maintenance. What if we take a look at the shower, do inspection and maintenance. We can do it on the toilet as well. Just maintain everything very nicely. Gosh, his family's let their little child sleep on the floor in a puddle of water on the stone hard tiles in the kitchen. They're not very good parents, are they? I literally bought two cribs for you, mate. You're not doing a very good job. So 
So we've done maintenance on literally every single object in this house. So if we maybe come back, oh, pause, pause, pause. We just made, did we just make it five star? Oh my God, we did, look, it's five star now. That's lovely. With that being said, uh, we can actually up the rent now to the max 668. Yes, we can make a bit more money. I f okay, guys, we get back to the aspiration, but I feel like all of our tenants are being like they're underpaying so much. I'm going to make it max. No, I do not care. I'm afraid that's just the way the game works. I'm afraid this is how it works in real life. I don't know what it's like in any other countries, but in the UK, landlords basically have absolutely no restrictions with what they can do. Thank you very much, Tory government. Don't mean to be political. So like they can just get away, like your rent could be 500 pounds. And then the next week they say, oh, it's 1,500 pounds now. If you don't want to pay it, you have to be kicked out 30 days. It really is horrendous. Um, so this is very realistic. Yes, it is. So we've upped the rent on those and we've completed our aspiration. What trait did we get? I want to know. Home manager Maven. Shanice is more successful solving tenant emergency maintenance events. Well, they weren't that difficult to begin with anyway, so I don't know how it's going to be any easier. Anyway, build stronger relationships with tenants and has increased ratings on owned residential rentals. Does that mean the ratings have gone up on more of them automatically now? Or does it just go up easier? I mean, that's quite nice. There we go. Well done, Shanice. Although that felt like, felt like kind of too easy to complete. Honestly, we completed all these aspirations so quickly. Although we're still not getting paid, guys. Even though we've actually played now up until winter and we started in spring. So it's almost been a whole in-game year and we've only been paid once as a landlord. So it is still very much a broken feature. This is why I gave a disclaimer, guys. Like, do not buy this pack because the main feature of the pack is broken. And the worst thing is EA literally just haven't said anything. They haven't even acknowledged the fact that, oh, Chantel swiped an object while she was at work. Lovely. Oh, I forgot she swiped objects before. We have to um, sell those. Can you, why can't you sell it? She would, like, why can't she sell it? We're going to have to pop it in our bookshelf. That's weird. Also, didn't we swipe a lampshade? Is it in our inventory? Yes, it is. We can sell that. Oh, and we've got a grill. We'll sell that too. Although we can't sell our animals for some reason. The game won't let us. So they'll have to stay. But what I was saying was like the main feature of the pack being able to make money from renting is so broken and EA just have not come out and said anything like they haven't given a statement they haven't said like guys we know and we're working on fixing it they've just been radio silent and it seems like they're ignoring it and then oh my god is there a, go a ghost who is excuse me who is on my bin sir who are you Knox Greenberg, the eco master. Oh, this is the guy that died in one of our gravestones here. <laughs> he died in the horse ranch bit of the let's play. But what I'm saying is like, they just haven't acknowledged like any of the broken things in this pack. And I just like, I genuinely just don't understand why. Like why, like why haven't you acknowledged the fact that this pack is so broken? I just don't understand it. If they acknowledge the fact that this feature, like one of the most fundamental features is broken, I'd understand it. But they're just literally not acknowledging anything. This is what especially just puts me mean triggered Karen snowflake mode. Anyway, trash overload at one in a circle. Where is one in a circle? Okay, that is in Dowsol Valley. These always happen at like weird times. It's 3 a.m. now and I can't believe we're doing this. Okay, we've got a knock on the door because there's a trash overload. Okay, there's a bit of trash here. We've got to find five pieces of trash. The last time we did this, it was totally broken. This lot so big and empty. I, it can't be broken in a lot big and empty like this. We found two pieces of trash. Okay, there need to be three more pieces of trash somewhere. Can't find them. What if we, oh, okay. We can empty the bin. We can bring that outside. Okay. We've got, oh no, that didn't count. So we've still got three more to do. We've got to empty three pieces of trash and there's no more trash. So again, as I was saying, guys, in terms of broken features, this trash overload thing's broken. It wants us to empty three pieces of trash and there's no trash in the house. There's no trash outside. There's literally nothing we can do to complete this. And like, like who the fuck, like check this off on testing and said this is okay to be released. I wonder if the trash like loaded off the lot somewhere. That would be kind of funny if the trash just loaded somewhere completely random out in the open. But I don't think the trash did. I can't see anything just having a quick scoop around. So I can't imagine the trash did load off somewhere off the lot. So yeah, it's another issue like this. Oh, this game is such trash, guys. Come on. Four end is a pile of wank. This is why I'm saying in every single video, I do not want you purchasing this pack. No, I do not. Oh, look, our tenant is an emu. Hello, sir. You've got emo hair. Yes, you do. Oh my God, he's got Karen hair. <laughs> 
Sir, you are a Karen. Yes, you are. Should we introduce ourselves? Hello there. So yeah, we can't actually complete this event because the game is broken. Not much more I can really do for you, sir, I'm afraid. If the game won't let me, it won't let me. So we better go home and just not deal with it. It's like, how did this make it past testing? Like, were they just like, oh, it's fine. We'll release it broken and just see what happens. This is why I think it's really important for me as a YouTuber. I know this sounds cheesy, but this is why, like, I could not give less for shit that, you know, oh, I'm not in the EA creating network. I don't care that people on social media call me a evil sims for hater because, like, you need people like me to tell you this pack is a pile of wank so that you don't waste your money. See, look, looks like you ignored the trash overload problem one in a circle. The unit rating went down. I didn't ignore it. The game just didn't let me resolve it. Like, it's literally not my problem. Also, guys, you know, we've got mold spores. Like, they're still not, like, we've had this one. Patchy cleaned up another one, but we're not getting any more mold spores like spawn. Can we copy it and paste it? No, we can't. The whole point of giving your sims, if you intentionally give your sims a moldy lot challenge, it is because you want mold to grow on the lot and the game just like won't let you. I think because sims autonomously clean, even if you make them like a dirty sim, they will just autonomously clean. So it's like, no matter what you do, mold spores just won't grow on your lot. Every single person I've seen try to make mold spores grow has like really had to like force it and try really hard. Like it's just so dumb. Like I want Chantal to die of mold spores. Okay, but she will not. What if we cheat it and make it? Guys, I'm gonna cheat everything and make it really dirty and just see if mold spores grow. Cause otherwise like I just genuinely don't know what to do. Shanice has to deal with a crying baby. Jesus Christ, Shanice, look after your child. To be fair, Shanice is being an okay parent in this let's play. She's not letting her child die. She's not letting it get taken away by social services. That's a good start, Shanice. At least something's not going wrong. <laughs> well, that's not really a full rent feature, so it doesn't count. Oh, well, there we go. We got another mold spore grow. Isn't that lovely? What if we make this downstairs one dirty as well? What if we make everything like really dirty? Do you think that will just hurry the mold spores up a bit? Because that's what I would, I say that's what I would love. That sounds a little bit demented. I mean, Shanice is feeling dazed from the mold spores. So maybe Shanice will die. Who knows? Oh, Chantal's being promoted to a petty thief. That's lovely. Good for you, Chantal. She seemed to have swiped an object while she was at work. She keeps swiping things. Oh, she swiped a dirty dish. Isn't that lovely? How useful of you, Chantal. She also won emblems of espionage. I feel like, okay, I'm going to keep that in the inventory and then eventually maybe we can make a, like a nice secret underground bunker. And uh, for the meantime, I would like you to go upstairs and be with all the mold spores. I'm actually going to lock you in here, Chantal. Yes, I am. So you cannot escape. Although I don't want Shanice to die of the mold spores. Maybe if we give Shanice a little vacation, she can get away with the mold spores and we can just, you know, go off, live somewhere else for a little bit. That's what we're doing, guys. We're going on vacation with Shanice next episode. Well, we're making her go on vacation, then we're playing Chantal and make her die. Anyway, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.